Well, happening now, spring only comes once a year, but a deep cleaning can help your home stay organized and uncluttered all year round. And the same can be said for your finances. That's right. Local financial professional Mindy McIntosh from McIntosh & Associates joins us now with five tips that you can use to spring clean your financial house. But before we get to that, why is it a good time to do this in the spring? Spring is just a great time to start fresh. So it normally takes people about two to three months to kind of get rid of holiday bills that had piled up from the holiday season. So now we're hoping that those credit card bills are behind them and before we're distracted on summer, it's a great time to really focus on their finances. I can attest to that. Now I see all these, these toys here, <laughs> these goodies that you brought, these props. Uh, we're talking about um, uh, all these tips to kind of spring clean everything uh, for your finances. So right. What's our first tip? First tip is we want to kind of make sure that we can inspect our budget. So as we talk with clients um, day in and day out, we really take a look at their budget. They give us a detailed report. And this time of year, we say take three highlighters and physically highlight on that budget or on those credit card bills. We do a six month review. One color, you're highlighting all the necessities, mm. groceries, household bills, utilities. Those are going to stay in the budget. Second item, things you maybe utilize every single month. Maybe you're always using Netflix or you just bought a new vacuum cleaner. So highlight those off. And third, you're just gonna kind of go ahead and highlight maybe the, the coffee stops you're making once a week or clothing that still have tags mm -hmm. on them. Take that third color, whatever it might be, and really try to eliminate that from the budget. Okay, so great tip there. Uh, moving on. See you, Rake. You see a rake, so see a this rake. is a really fun one. So we like to say, let's kind of rake in those retirement costs and rake in those retirement income. So we advise all of our clients, 10 to 15% of their income, we're just putting it right away into that retirement bucket or retirement income. Um, so people need to continue to realize, contribute to that 401k or their IRA that they have. And the more that you kind of can accumulate there now, it's gonna be a much higher pile in retirement. All right, mm -hmm. very good. And clean up forms, is that right? Yeah, so we like to clean up your forms. That's where we kind of use spray bottles, dusters, and we say we're going to wipe clean once a year all those beneficiary forms. So people might think we have a will and that's going to go ahead and trump anything that we have. That's not true. So anything that has a beneficiary on there, whether it's retirement accounts, um, maybe it's a savings or bank there account. There goes our Swiffer. There that's goes our right. Swiffer to clean up. <laughs> um, it's a great idea to do that once a year. So that way, if anything changes too throughout, maybe you had a birth of a new child, Mm -hmm. a marriage just kind of take a review of I that every year. I hope people really pay attention to that because that's something unfortunately especially when people die and things happen you know mm -hmm. if you don't pay attention to that each and every single year uh, you know you could end up suffering in the long run or your family could. So. Right. Prepare and plan yeah. ahead. And we want to plug energy leaks, is that right? Plug energy, energy leaks, we want to kind of tape them up. So we have tape here too to show that, you know, people really on a monthly basis, if you have an energy leak, leaky ceilings, um, maybe you can go ahead and caulk around um, the outside barriers of those. Those can save about $100 a month that we're seeing. You can take that $100 that you're saving, plug it in somewhere else. Utilities too, if you're not using an appliance, if you unplug them, those also are saving about an average of $100 a month. It's a way that we can kind of look at that budget and say, you know what, we don't need to be throwing this money physically out the window. Let's cock it up. Let's tape it up. Keep it secure. All right. I like, I like these analogies. Yeah. And finally, we have take out the trash. Take out the trash. So we brought our bag here. All as right. we, you know, this time of I year too, we want to clean up. In the mail. <laughs> yeah. So you see all these different forms, documents in the mail. We want to make sure that you're keeping like bank statements mm -hmm. for one year. Um, credit cards and statements and such one year as well. Any tax forms keep for seven years, but the rest, this is a great time of year. We get rid of all these documents that you don't need. Um, for a list of those documents you need to keep or need to shred, go to our website at wealthmichigan.com and make sure that you're shredding, not throwing away anything Good with social security stuff. numbers, dates of birth on them. Yep. I like it. Good stuff. All right. Thank well, you thanks, so much. Thanks Thank for you. joining us, Mindy. All right, and of course, we will uh, get those five steps up on our website a little bit later this morning. We will be right back.